And today we're going to be do doing something that I like to do every week. Like I said before, I like to meal prep many types of meals. Uh, about five days a week, I make about ten meals from that. Usually it's rice, veggies, and some type of meat. I'll show you one day actually how I go throughout that process. Save not only time, money, but get down, weighing everything, make sure I get my, you know, all my nutrients, all my fats, carbs, and veggies. All that good stuff. And proteins, you got to have the proteins. So anyway, today we're going to be doing something a little... Today... I'll be prepping what my meat would be this week. I was at Target earlier today and I saw something that, you know what, was actually a little bit of a shocker. Um, I went to Target's meat section because I had to get some milk and I noticed something. They had a nice little special for their 99% lean meat. Usually it's about $6 for about their 20 ounces for the, well, what brand do I got here? Jenny O's. Yeah, that's not bad for that kind of stuff. You know, leaner it gets, the more expensive it gets, obviously. But, they had a nice little special. Two dollars off. So, basically, that's four dollars for 20 ounces. That's a pound and a quarter for four dollars. I couldn't resist, so I bought the rest of them, which was about um, 60 ounces left, so three packages. What's really nice about this meat is 1.5 grams of fat, with only 20, with 26 grams of protein. And only 0.5 of that is saturated fat. But here's the thing though, because of that, there's a problem, because I'm making a meatloaf. This is what I like to do with my ground beef. You gotta add something else. So, what I like to usually do when it comes to one pound, I usually add about one egg. But since this, I'm still trying to wash the fat and everything, we're gonna go with one package, one egg. This is what type of meatloaf I do kinda make. What other stuff should I put in this meatloaf? Well, it really depends on what you like. Today, I'm going to be doing something, a Parmesan garlic meatloaf. Uh, this is a turkey meatloaf, just like I said, 99% lean meat. And of course, I'm kind of careful what I put in it, as usual. I don't use actual cheese, I just use the Parmesan cheese. So, get yourself a nice good sized bowl, roughly this, that can hold 60 ounces, or five. I totally forgot what that <laughs> means. Uh... What's six? What's sixty divided by sixteen? Was that four? Okay, four and a half pounds. About, about four, about four pounds. We're looking at it. just under four pounds. So three and a half, roughly, of meat with about with using some parmesan. I like to use this a lot because I don't know. I don't like the cheesy sense. This is going to be frozen. This actually, I believe, holds it a little bit better together. Personally, I don't like using breadcrumbs because I want to keep this. as low carbs as I can, so that's a decent substitute, but you gotta remember there's a good amount of salt in Parmesan cheese, especially when it's like that. Next, good old fashioned garlic. And depending on how much you like garlic, you can't, you can't go wrong. It's garlic, people. You can't go wrong with garlic. Put as much as you want in there. So, I put whatever the hell I want. I put a good amount in there, looks like. And like I said, um, I put three eggs. I put the whole egg in there, you gotta use the yolk. I, I need a little bit more fat. Even though, what's the word I'm looking for? I, I bought the lean stuff. I still need some fat in there. So I, that's why I put about three eggs in there. So it adds a little bit more in there. Not too much. Only 21 grams. But when you think about it, you're putting 10 meals here. That only adds about 2 grams of fat. So if you want to, you can add a little bit more in there. But you got to remember, you're going to be at, you gotta remember, it's eggs. You don't want to liquefy this and all of a sudden you get this weird pancake looking meatloaf. I will add a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. I can't pronounce this. Don't get mad at me. Don't be mad. So, when it comes to the, uh, the Worcestershire sauce, I usually do one pump for every half a pound. So, since we got about three and a half ish, I only did about six pumps of Worcestershire sauce to get a good enough flavor. That's just me. I don't like weighing certain things like that, especially since it's not too high in salt, which is actually not not bad but still you don't just go crazy with it everywhere it's like you know okay i'm trying sorry i gotta keep this pg as much as possible i don't want to be that guy um that's for different videos so how many servings of parmesan do we go with so uh again uh, about every quarter pound to about one serving we're looking at uh that's just my view towards it. Again, I, I'm, I, that's why I don't add any salt to anything. I don't add any salt to any of my foods because I get that enough through hot sauce, 
Worcestershire sauce, Parmesan cheese. That's where I get enough of it. So why should I add more salt to it? Make it just even drier than hell. So once you get all your ingredients in, put it all into a nice big bowl, mix it up with your hand, put your oven to about 400. Usually takes about an hour. And this is something you gotta be careful with with turkey. You have to cook it all the way. You gotta make sure it gets cooked all the way. That's why I like leaving it, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I lit about an hour in, about around 400. That gets it cooked all the way. And if you're looking for flavor, you might add some more stuff, but if you just wanna get something that has a decent amount of taste and just eat it and just try to eat as much as you can, then yeah, just go with this kind of idea. So I'm gonna show you what my meatloaf looks like before I put it in the oven, and then we're gonna look at it once it's all done after about an hour. I don't cover it, I don't put veggies around it. That's me, this is my version of a meatloaf that you're gonna meal prep for about a week. So, let's look, let's look what my meatloaf looks like after it's all mixed up and ready to go. All right, so I got it all done, didn't take too long. And this, just so you know, this is kind of a fun activity uh, to do with your kids, think about it. Kids like getting dirty. Make, their, make sure the hands are clean, let them play around with the meatloaf. It's ooey, it's gooey, it's fun, and then they get to pay, play with their own food. So, if you have a kid, this is something to actually do with them, which is pretty fun. Me it's just what I've seen with meatloaf. So, this is what it looks like overall, my version of the meatloaf. I make sure to put a couple holes in so it cooks a little bit faster and all the way in. So, it doesn't take as long. Still, make sure they cook it for an hour. And remember, you're not supposed to have it, it's supposed to be all clear, no pinks, none of that. So, let's put it in the oven, give it about an hour, and we'll come back to see what it looks like overall. Let me put this right here. And maybe, if maybe people are actually wondering why my videotapes don't look professional, anything like that. Look, here's my view. I'm no professional, I make simple videos, but they're straight to the point. They're very like home-like. Cause I want to be able to talk to people. I want to, that's the point of these videos. So that's why they don't look professional. They look like they're on my phone. But what do you expect? Ain't no professional here. I want to actually be able to talk to you. So why should I have a nice $300 camera set up, stable, and perfect jump cup to everything? That's not the point. That's the point. I want to be able to like, I'm actually there with you. You're actually there with me. That's why most of my videos are actually kind of one shot. They don't take that long. I just start rambling on on what I want to talk about. That's why uh, it feels like I don't know exactly what to say. That's like right right now, I'm kind of what's we're looking for, um, halting my lines, if that makes any kind of sense. I don't go off a script. This is just all, God, what, what, you know, you, brain farting here, exactly. But that's how real I want to be with people in these videos. Be real. Yeah, you have the professional ones. The ones that are like, perfect, jump cut. Like, oh, this is what you're supposed to do. And here it is, all done. Fabuloso. I'm like, that's not the point. That's not the idea of this. But, hey, here's what it looks like. Fully cooked. Looks like a giant white bl blob. And looks absolutely delicious to me. So, there you go, everyone. My version of a turkey meatloaf that's used for good meal prepping and fun with the kids if you want to do that. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next week. Have a good day and be nice to your neighbors.